Okay, some interesting stuff happening in the world of Helldivers 2 today as the battle continues for the Major Order. It does seem like we're not going to hit it right now. Even if players double, we are definitely going to struggle. So we're going to take a look at what it is that's going on in the war so far. On top of that, though, we are going to have some talks about what the Baskinate has been saying over on the official Discord, which is really interesting and may actually change your loadout, which is bonkers. Some stuff coming from the actual Twitter page and we're going to talk game sales which is bonkers as well these numbers are just ridiculous but are relevant to it if you haven't already smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming and yes that's right we made it rhyme now if you go down to the description though you can use the link that will take you over there and using code cloud players at checkout we'll get you a cheeky discount 12 percent much better than 10 yep i'm aware anywho let's dive on into what we've got going on inside of the game so far so starting off an announcement from the Bascane put uh, happened at quarter to five this evening stating we have identified the cause of the freezes many players have been experiencing and we're in the process of building a patch to fix it that should be ready to deploy early next week in the meantime we advise against using the arc thrower arc shotgun and tesla tower as those appear to be linked to the issue thank you for your continued patience now this is an interesting one indeed as i do think that it's one of those where you don't even need to be wielding the weapon for it to cause an issue i feel like a lot of the time if it's a part of your team and they are using one of these things then the likelihood is is it's going to freeze the entire lobby as well sometimes i've had freezes and crashes where i've not had these items on and i'm just sat in a loading screen with a complete freeze point it's ridiculous and bonkers so just make sure that we spread the word of this one everyone kind of needs to put down the arc thrower arc shotgun and the tesla tower so anything relatively arc related and pick up some weapons that you maybe haven't used before and try some things that are new there's some really good things in there me myself i'd recommend the flamethrower or the grenade launcher two very fun options for your faces but going into the galactic war status it's a confusing one but we've taken four reprime and we have managed to objectively tick half of the major order for some reason, we've had a weird, weird strain over. So instead of going in for Hellmire, which already had a decent percentage done on it, they've gone for the Oshawn or Oshawn. I can't pronounce that one at all, but irrelevant to that. There is a reasoning for it of apparently the planet is closer to Zagon Prime, and that is absolutely absurd. The numbers that we've got going on right now, as you can see on screen, provided by Helldivers.io, very good site to watch if you you guys are working and want to see how the war's going we are not likely to do this at all even if we condense down to one planet the likelihood is is that if we had double the amount of hell divers right now we maybe could get into zagon prime but it's not likely that we're going to get it completed in time if you guys want to go give it a bash though you may as well head over to the ocean or the ocean let me know in the comment section how to pronounce it because we all know i'm bad at pronouncing words okay but head on over there and attack it as one we can take this out and hopefully head on through from there but it's not going to be a quick one and it's not likely that we're going to complete it so maybe just have a bit of fun with this and go into some planets that you maybe haven't done before go and see the automatons i'd love to say that we're going to complete this but we're just definitely not going to this post right here actually posts up why we should be having some supply lines on this because the game doesn't pan to a normal stature We've got this post right here that states this major order is a perfect example of why we need supply lines to be shown in game and this is absolutely true as you can see right here the route that we are actually taking still means we've got to take out two planets before we get to zagon prime even though we kind of thought that it might be able to skip it based on the block capital of it we thought that it would be hellmire over to nivel 43 to zagon prime but instead we're having to go the opposite way which is going to take us out of a sector and back into a sector it leads for some very interesting gameplay but nonetheless this is exactly how this one has panned 
It's disappointing, but these supply lines should definitely be making an appearance in the game. I think that it would help a lot of people who don't really look at the videos or don't look at any announcements on social media and don't really know what the route is for taking a lot of these and just kind of guess it on a whim. And before we get into the next topic, we are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2. And if you've already got the game, we're giving the money equivalent in super credits. Really, really simple this time around. Head down to the comment section and stick a blue and a yellow heart. Doesn't matter on the shade of blue because I've seen you you guys in the comments saying it before a blue and a yellow cart in the comment section and it'll enter you in we'll give the announcements on the community page and we'll give the announcements in the discord server for those of you guys who were commenting on the last video no you don't get any extra points for being in the discord server it is an optional choice although seven and a half thousand people are in there enjoying it right now we will post every weekend a different winner so that is generally how that one's going to work if you haven't already go down the comment section all you have to do is two emojis and it's real simple i'll contact you Let's dive on into the next bit. Next up, though, we've got a Twitter post coming here from the Helldivers 2 Twitter post. This one's hilarious. We didn't see this one coming at all. Breaking news in a shocking turn of events, citing of flying bugs have been reported from the front lines. According to the Ministry of Truth, no previous sightings have ever been recorded in history. Dun, dun, dun. We didn't see this one coming at all. It's actually hilarious. I think that it would be very cool if we didn't have the leaks and we were experiencing all this firsthand. Although, unfortunately, these do make the videos. We do obviously warn you of the pre-leaks for those people who do want to see them. Because if you're not going to watch it here, you're going to watch it somewhere else. So I may as well bring it to your faces. But the actual news reports for this are hilarious and they are so well done. And I'm really, really a big fan of them. If you ever want to keep up to date with them, though, their Twitter page is down in the description. Feel free to go and check it out. This one's a good watch and so are the other ones that they post up that go alongside the story of the war next up though we have got a massive take right now with the hell divers to best-selling game of the year in the u.s that's right, you heard me absolutely. Helldivers 2 is USA's best-selling game of the year so far, with nearly 60% of its sales on PC, which was actually and oddly not as a higher percentage as I thought it was going to be. I thought the PC would probably hold quite a higher majority of players, but it does turn out that a decent whack of you guys are playing on PlayStation, which is always an interesting factor and always something that I quite like the sound of. I'm an old-school guy, guy i'm getting quite old now and you can't teach an old dog new tricks so i play on playstation 5 although we are investing in a new pc very soon so your boy's probably going to have to learn that mouse and keyboard thing very very soon not for this game though man knows where's his bread buttered give me that controller anywho anywho you can see right here that they managed to get the number one as last month's rank above final fantasy rebirth call of duty modern warfare 3 skull and bones which isn't really much of a positive as that game was absolutely atrocious and then seventh place was suicide squad this one is not a really great year i guess it's kind of interesting to see how it pans out because we can see some factors on there though like elden ring and stuff like that which is kind of interesting actually how that one looks because this is for the us best sold in 2024 so the periodic of it is quite an interesting look to say the least now we're going to move on into something which is really really close to my heart and i think should have a shed ton more upvotes than i've ever seen on the post before this one needs it so the link is the final link in the description for you guys to click on and go and upvote it because this right here says i love this game it's buggy, unbalanced, crashes too often. Still, there goes the best damn game of 2024. This is my number one game for 2024 so far. I'm hoping that it can reign champion throughout the rest of the year. It's not likely that that ever does happen, but this game does seem to be going against the curve with a lot. We seem to see this game as a bit of an anomaly when it comes to the way that developers are actually running things and how games are actually panning out, especially in the live service model. So this game game has definitely done a lot more for the gaming scene and for the communities than you guys will ever actually believe. This is a huge thing and it's definitely stoked Arrowhead on the map for a game and development team. I'm expecting some more big things coming from them over future years because I think that this is just them scratching the surface. I'm really intrigued to see what it is that's going to happen with Helldivers 2 and I'm hoping that they manage to sort out the buggy crashes and the freezing and all that sort of stuff and early next week we actually get some decent information with a decent patch to fix a lot of the things that we need fixed.
mixing. Obviously, going into the weekend, things do quieten up, which is why they're waiting for the patch come early week, because a lot of them take the weekend off, and rightly so. They work their asses off. They deserve to have some family time and chill the hell out. But nonetheless... We've got a really, really interesting weekend coming as this is generally where all the leaks tend to come out as people are diving in because they need that news. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. And as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.